Today I'm going to run through how to put together a pheromone trap for monitoring the influx of Helicoverpa, either Punctidra, the native budworm, or Armidra um, in the northern region. This is a complete pheromone trap with the pot that captures the Helicoverpa, the top plate that protects the funnel from collecting water, and importantly the plug that you attach the lure to. Now when you get your trap, there are a number of ways that you can attach it to a post in order to secure it in the field. Probably one of the simplest ways is, as we've done here, is using a fairly heavy gauge wire, run it through each of those holes at the top of the trap, back down through the post, and secure it here quite firmly. When you get your trap from the supplier, it will come with this lace that's relatively easy to use, thread it through each of the poles, and we have attached this one here using a piece of aluminium angle just with a couple of bolts onto the post. It's not a bad idea to use a swivel because the thing blows in the wind quite readily and can get in quite a tangle. Take one of those lures out of the packet. The remaining lures, there are three in a packet, goes back into the fridge so that it will last. Just remove the plug and slide that in there like so. Uh, and then back into the top of the pot. When you come to check the moths in the trap, this is essentially what you'll see, a number of moths um, dead in the trap, and it's simply a matter of removing those moths, uh, counting them, if they're not too many, counting them on the spot, or put them in a plastic bag and take them home to count at your leisure. This trap, you can see, has had some holes drilled in the bottom just to ensure that if any water gets in it drains away. The only other thing that it's worth doing is to place something like a pest strip uh, into the bottom of the pot. Just ensures that the moths die before they beat themselves to a pulp and makes them much easier to collect. Empty them out, replace the pest strip and simply put the trap back together. Weekly checks are sufficient for getting an indication of moth numbers over time.